Father Capadonna was loved by his Marines because he was always right there with them on the front lines. He was told it wasn't his job to go on patrols, but he was often seen jumping onto helicopters at the last minute with his priest gear. He knew that where the fighting was thickest is where a chaplain might be needed the most. On September 4th, 1967, a battle broke out called Operation Swift. U.S. Marines found themselves entirely surrounded by North Vietnamese Army and outnumbered five to one. One survivor said the sound of constant artillery was like Niagara Falls. They didn't even know where to shoot back. And right in the midst of that chaos was Father Capadano. He ran around ministering to people and saving people's lives. One Marine I had the honor of talking to had about 70 pounds of communications gear on his back. Things began to explode around him, and he thought, this is it, I'm gonna die. All of a sudden, this guy lands beside me. I didn't know who he was. And when we both looked up, he grabs me by the pack. As I mentioned in this article I wrote, the hands of God reaching down to lift me up. I don't know if we had to hit the deck one or two more times, but he literally threw me into this bomb crate. And I land in there, and I thought he was gonna come in with me. And uh, he didn't. And he, we just made eye contact. There was no verbal message. We couldn't, we couldn't communicate. It was so loud, so much noise going on. And, and we just looked at each other, and he gave me a look like, don't worry, it's gonna be okay. Just moments after he left me, um, there was some gas dropped. And uh, at one point or another, he had given his gas mask maybe to another Marine. I'm not sure about that, but at the time, he didn't have one. So I offered him mine. And he said, no, you need it more than I do. And, and so at that moment, he just was gone from my view. Another Marine was hit with shrapnel, bleeding on the ground, terrified. When Father Capadano got up to him, a bubble of peace descended on him. It was completely quiet. All he heard was his voice. God is with us all this day. Someone will be here soon to help you. Father Capadonna was always able to see the crisis of the moment from an eternal perspective. He, he was able to communicate a, a, a very honest sense of perspective and confidence uh, that no matter what happened, you were going to be all right. Capadano didn't survive that day. He was running to minister to a medic who had been shot, just yards from the machine gunner who had targeted him. He was shot 27 times in the back. He died on a field in Vietnam with that medic and with 127 other Marines. He received the Medal of Honor. The USS Capadano was named after him. He's been declared servant of God by the Catholic Church. That's the first step toward becoming a canonized saint. His name is on the Vietnam War Memorial. The only way to see it is to kneel. The way he died, that's how we're supposed to live, for others. We have enough famous people. <laughs> we have enough people showing the world how to perfect the art of making your life all about you. We don't need more of that. We desperately need the next Father Capadonna. Father Capadano, pray for us.